Please note, we have this remote control system set on a temporary plate. This particular customer is going to have some custom equipment mounted on top and uh, they will relocate the wiring in the boxes on their equipment. Uh, this remote control system is available as a standalone unit as the machine you see here. We can add it to a steering wheel controlled mud ox or a joystick controlled mud ox. Uh, the choice is yours. This would be a good option for mining exploration. Um, this radio has full telemetry so we can mount uh, cameras on it and get feedback and see where you're going. Here's the radio for the remote control mud ox. The radio always needs to be the first item on and the last item off. This controller says 2-1, so that is for mud ox remote number one. The controller that says 2-2 two, two is for re, uh, mud ox remote 2-2. Two, two. Also, when we turn this on, it will say mud ox one or mud ox two and mud ox three accordingly. So, your switches that you need to know about. A, when it is in the one position, that is all power to the machine is killed and off. When you push it to the zero, that turns the power on to the mud ox once we go through the proper sequence. So if you're driving along and something's not right and you want it to stop immediately, you just simply do that, it will kill the engine and stop the machine. Switch I, that's labeled bind, this is a momentary switch, that is for your engine start. So once you have everything powered up, you push this button till the engine starts, then you let off. Switch H in the zero position, that is low range that allows the machine to be very responsive when you turn it and it allows it to go into counter rotation mode when you flip the switch to one that makes the machine a little less responsive and then it's more of a skid steer it will not counter rotate then switch g in the zero position that is forward in the one or middle position that is neutral and in the two position or all the way back towards you that is reverse all right so once the machine is started the left stick if you hold it to the left it will rev the engine up if you hold it to the right it will rev the engine down if you want to just go up a couple of hundred rpms you just do one quick bump. If you want to raise uh, a few hundred to a thousand, you just hold it until it's where you want and let go. So to the left is rev up, to the right is rev down. When it is in forward or reverse, the stick all the way back, the machine sitting still. The further you push this stick forward, the faster the machine's going to go. And then you just pull the stick back to stop. The right stick, you twist it to the left to turn left, to the right to turn right. The up and down has no function, and these switches here have no function. If you're driving the machine and you notice that it starts to wander left or right, this is your trim tab. So if it's drifting to the right, when everything is let go and straight, you can just quick bump it and a couple little clicks will straighten it out. All right, we'll start the uh, procedure to turn the machine on. Always verify that you are in the kill position and verify that you are in neutral. You push and hold the on button. This is mud ox number one. If this was for mud ox number two or number three, it would say mud ox two or three. All right, so we have the radio on. We are mud ox one, we are mud ox one. You turn the key switch to the run position and then you flip 
the red toggle switch on. What that does is that powers up the receiver power point and the receiver, but nothing on the machine is powered up. So once you flip this switch, it powers everything on. You'll see that the Kubota display is lit up. This will show you engine hours, coolant temperature, uh, battery voltage, and if you ever have any check engine codes, that's how you get into it. Okay, so we're all powered up. We're neutral. Push this button. The engine starts. You do not want to drive the machine at idle. You always want to give it at least a little bit of throttle. So if you come here, you can... Once you get learned by ear, but there's your 1,000 RPMs. So we can rev it up. I would say always run it at least 2,000 for just slow moving. If you're going to be doing maneuvers, climbing hills, go to 25 to 3,000. There's maximum RPM. That's forward, and we're in low range. You move the stick forward. And then to turn right, you just move the stick to the right. To turn left, you move the stick to the left. If you want to counter rotate, you just simply hold the stick all the way slightly over, and it will counter rotate. Now you do have to have a little bit of forward movement in this stick because if you have it sitting neutral, it's not gonna not gonna turn. You have to go be going forward a little bit, and then it will give it to you. All right, and then come to a stop. Now you must always come to a stop before you switch from forward to reverse or high to low. If you flip the switch while it's driving, it will not recognize the command until you come to a stop. So now we're gonna take G. We'll put it neutral just to show you. See it goes nowhere. That's also your parking system when it's sitting there running. Then to back, that's reverse. And then everything is opposite. So to the right, to the left, All right, now we're going to put it into forward and high range. You notice we'll take off, and it's a little less sensitive for turning. And then if you go full hard stick, it just skid steers gently. So this maneuver is if you are running high speed and you don't want the machine to jerk. Pull the stick back, and it stops. I'm gonna demonstrate killing it. So it's going, you don't like what you see? Done. Make sure that you always bring it back to stop. Put it back in neutral. You can see what happened, or if somebody was in the way, you can uh, clear the area. Turn the power back on. Hit the start button. Rev it back up. Go back to forward and continue driving. Once you're done operating the machine, the proper procedure to shut everything down is to kill the power here, then turn the red switch off, and then turn the key switch off. You push and hold this power button until the radio turns off.